Principal, principal, ma'am, and director, sir, respected all teachers. I am very thankful for Amit Misa sir to give me a golden opportunity to say some things about Green Revolution. My name is Atish, I am the class 9C. So let's start. Green Revolution was introduced in India in late 1960. It introduced of the Indian farmer to the high yielding variety HYBS seeds of rice and wheat. These seeds produce higher amount of grain on a single plant compared to a traditional seeds. As a result, some piece of land now produce larger quantity of food grains. However, these seeds need higher amount of fertilizers. Water and pesticides farmers of Punjab, Haryana and western Uttar Pradesh were the first one of the adopt HYV seeds in India. So, let's start advantage of green revolution the amount of greenhouse gas emissions with the help of reduce this it allow us to create more food than conventional methods of growing in uncooperative conditions it offers us with predictable yields it allow a decline in food cost for the world economy so let's start disadvantage of green revolution loss of fertility with use of chemical fertilizers use of tube wells reduce the water table chemical fertilizers pollute groundwater kills bacteria and microorganisms help fossil exclusive use of fertilizers make soil alkaline and unfit for cultivation so let's start capital capital is a stock of such man-made gods which can be used for further production for example stock of raw material and stock of machines it has two important components with as under first fixed capital fixed capital refers to the stock of produce means of productions like machines which can be repeatedly used in the process of productions for several years and which are of high value working capital working capital include stock of raw materials consumable which is executed during the process of production it also include cash requirements for meeting routine expenditures of the business it keeps on floating in the business thank you